here's something you don't see every day. A 48-ton M47 patent tank doing a few spins around a parking lot. Or me going for a very nervous ride in a World War II M8 Greyhound reconnaissance vehicle. There we go! It's just some of the sights and sounds you'll see at the Armed Forces History Museum in Largo, Florida. This museum is the largest collection in the Southeast United States, and it's truly a jewel. Uh, we have well over 130,000 items. Frank Correa is a longtime historian with the museum who spent four years with an anti-terrorism team in the Marine Corps. This place, I tell people when I go in speaking engagements, that this museum will change your life. It really will. And if you're a huge military buff, there's enough tanks, tractors, and jeeps to tickle your fancy. This World War II M3 scout vehicle that was used for various purposes, this 1944 eight-cylinder, two-machine-gun Sherman tank, and this amphibious vehicle from World War II and the Korean War. It's basically a floating truck, half truck, half boat. They can carry troops, payload of uh, ammunition, equipment, food, whatever you need. And then there's a hodgepodge of other items like this one-of-a-kind Jeep prototype from the 60s that never caught on and this 1942 Harley-Davidson WLA. Remember the field hospital trucks we all used to see in the TV series MASH? Well, this is a real one. It's a 1951 Dodge Ambulance. It has a top speed of up to 55 miles per hour with a driving range of over 200 miles. And if you come take a look at the back, this is where they would place all of the wounded soldiers for transport. The Korean War sticks out strongly in Bill Allen's mind. He was a POW for 31 months in a North Korean prison camp. We buried over 1,600 bodies within 60 days just from starvation and no medical. The 82-year-old gives uh, weekly tours and has set up a little corner of history in the museum. I just brought a bunch of my stuff over here and uh, asked them if they wanted it, and they said, yeah, and so when they got the stuff, they got me. <laughs> Hey, it's, it's a hidden gem in the Tampa Bay area. For Peter Clark, this museum brings back memories. As a second lieutenant, he was responsible for the removal of Army gamma goats like this one from his unit. Mm, I'm feeling old right now. That is, you know, something that, yeah, I was actually rode in is now in a museum. Yeah, yeah it's a scary thought. <laughs> but he enjoys learning more about his country's military history with his son Brad. Basically, it's all my favorite things together in one area. <laughs> But the highlight of the museum, without a doubt, is the chance to ride in this 1943 completely redone M8 Greyhound. Correa put it through its paces on six acres of land, trying to trip me up. Oh, don't let go, don't let go, whatever you do, don't let go. But I held on tight and was rewarded with an M8 crew member certificate in the end. Look at that, it's official. <laughs> I survived. An unforgettable experience indeed. A wartime veteran with an enduring spirit, rarely seen military vehicles, and a generous host who believes in duty, honor, country. I'm the luckiest guy in the world. I get to play with all this stuff, and I get to tell people about the great history of our nation and uh, the sacrifices that have been made by those who have worn the uniform. And I'm truly blessed. Now, what can I say? <laughs>